Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast with your host, Zach Munster. Now, I had to look far and wide for chickens that were laying eggs. I got two, and the little shits got out, and I had to... Like nudge them and grab seeds and be like, yeah, but they're ba they're babies, so they're like, no. Anyway, I got two in there, and what I did is I got a little bit of my iron. That was about what 15 iron, and a bunch of wood. I got a nice little setup here, and I got one of the rare eggs. There's like a, I think if you check the wiki, you can correct me, but um, there's like a one in like 300 chance you throw an egg, you'll get four chickens. Those four are from like one egg. And then the other two I got from checking like 12 other eggs in there. But, um, far and wide for chickens, far and wide for reeds, which I've got going over there. I installed Natura because that was not on there. So I have cotton seeds when I want to plant those. I did get an iron ore berry bush from Tinkers, which means I can start getting a steady supply of iron. Not an impressive amount by any means, you know, one nugget every couple, like, like every half a game day. But uh, I, I kind of wanted to find some berry bushes because those are really nice to, to fill your saturation bar, which is invisible. But um, today, I found clay. Yay! Ermigird! So we can do the thing I was telling you about, which is making grout. And I think one and a half stacks will make three, and I think three is plenty. So we're going to have to hope that it is. I'm out of coal, which sucks, but I know where I can get a couple pieces anyway. But yeah, so I got grout, and what we need the grout for is to make a smeltery. And a smeltery is basically, all you need to make it is a base of, when you get them, they'll, they'll be called seared bricks, and you want to make seared brick blocks. You want nine on the bottom. You need at least three here, here, here. You need a smeltery brain. Um, the tank, and then at least one drain with a faucet. I'm going to have mine set up pretty, not complex, but kind of in a neat way. And I'd like, I wanted to have enough seared bricks right off the bat to make it at least too high. Because the, uh, you, it's tileable. You can add another stack of whatever you want. There's seared glass, seared bricks. You can add more drains. You can add as many drains as you want. Um, you can have it as high as you want, I think, and the higher you make it, the more you can put into it at one time. And the reason I want this as fast as possible is because, let's say I get some, uh, what, what's an example? Let's say I put this stack of copper ore in there. That will give me two stacks worth of copper ingots, and I just have to use a drain to get it out. So basically, it's a really good early game method of doubling your ores. There's a lot of other methods. You can use Ars Magica... Um, stuff like that to double your ores, which is really useful because you use a lot of metal in your uh, Feed the Beast playthroughs. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to work on the branch mine while that grout's cooking, and I will get back at you guys when it's done cooking. And hopefully I'll have more coal to cook the rest. So I'll see you then. Alright guys, I think we got our first stack done. I went and grabbed some more coal so we can get that second stack rolling, but... Uh, this first stack will at least get a base going, hopefully. Uh, yeah. And we got the third book of Mighty Smelting, Materials by You. And uh, basically what we want to accomplish with this is just a base here. And it looks like we're not going to be able to. Oh, wait, hold on. I usually put a thing here. All right. Now, what, I, what my design is, is usually I have... A tank here to make blocks out of. I have a pad here to uh, make molds out of. My uh, drains go here with faucets over it, obviously. Then we just have a block, the smeltery brain, and the thingy here. So, uh, before I make another jump cut here, after like two seconds of actual content, um, this chicken farm is going quite well. But the thing is, there must be some mod or something that makes chickens drop like crap tons more feathers because look at this I have almost four stacks of feathers I haven't killed that many chickens as you can see I probably only have had like a grand total of maybe 40 pieces of chicken in this 
Plus, uh, do I have any raw chicken? Yeah. About 47 pieces of chicken in total. So that's like 47 chickens. I got four stacks. That's ridiculous. It's like almost a five feather average. But anyway, so aside from that, I've added stairs here and here. You got the little farm going. And uh, I think what I'm going to do off camera while I'm waiting for that set of grout to cook is find myself a nice looking place to put a cotton farm because I need it. So uh, I will see you guys with both of those things momentarily. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to show you guys what the uh, what the builder's wand is capable of. Oh my goodness. So uh, as you can see, we have a line of it, and it's like, oh, do you want to put it here or here? Bam. Oh, do you, do you want to put another thing there? And then there? And then... No, oh, I don't want to do that, actually. Yeah, it's kind of funky to get used to. I don't. I didn't use it very much when I started the mod, so ooh, we're good. We are good. And then all we do is uh, get a get a little roof going on here. Bam. And don't worry, I have more in my inventory, so if I do run out, it'll be like, oh, don't worry, dude, I got you covered. I'll just pull it out of my inventory. So that's. That's how that whole thing works, but now we got ourselves a nice little nice little farm going on here. And I think what I'm going to do with this farm is use only cotton. Because until I get some sort of mob farm going, there's really um not a great source of what is it? Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? Alright, yeah, there's really not a good source of spider webs. Or, you know, string. I mean, I could just go out every night and blah, 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 but that's no fun. Anyway, let's go check on the grout, see how that's doing. Because that cotton takes forever to grow. But the good thing is, unlike wheat and all that, you don't have to break the plant to get it. You just go in and check on it, right-click on the ones that are grown. Um, That should do right there. So let's go ahead and... I should probably count this out for now. Um, I only really need one more. All right, cool. Well, let's make two drains. Oops. And the drains are like this, I believe. Smell three drain. All right. The brain should be like this. The controller, yep. Now, I can't remember how the hell a tank is made. I know you need glass for one recipe. Um... Is it just like the brain, but with glass? Hey, there we go. We're getting somewhere. I need two seared faucets. And then I just need one more block, like I so. And how I like to order it is the drains here. And, you know, the brain in the middle. The tank. Right, you know. And you'll know it's done when this lights up like it's on fire. Bing. Hey! And now, I do need two more things. I need one for making blocks and a stand. They're literally the exact opposite when you make them. Let me show you. For the thing that makes blocks, bam. And for the things that makes the, the plates, bam. And as this gets taller, I'm going to move these up and also add more around the sides. Because I'd like to have like a whole line of blocks in case I want to... You know, I just throw in like three stacks of gold one day and I'm like, all right, let's start making blocks. Just bloop, 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 blocks. And then over here, just bloop, 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 blocks. But for now, you just right click it when there's ore inside and it'll smelt it all up. But we need lava. And I've passed up two good sources of lava. I filled them in with stone. Not a great idea, but um, what are you going to do? But I figure this is cooking up here. I'll get the third stack of grout cooking up so we can have a second layer at least. And with the second layer, then things come become a lot more customizable. You can have uh, you know, drains coming out the side and all that. This is just kind of the most compact way of doing it. But anyway, I'm gonna go find myself some lava. And uh, before we go, let's look up. I've been I haven't been using any eye. This isn't the one where you get free items. I can't just click on this and give myself. I can't, you know. Hey, there you go. It doesn't work. All it does is it shows me items. 
So you can see like how to get it, you can smelt it, you can put it in a redstone furnace, you can pulverize it, you can lacerate it, etc. So what I want to do is I want to look for a portable tank. Now there's the creative one, but the smallest one is this one. It's just four glass around a copper ingot. I think that is doable. And you know what we should do is be efficient with our time and make another furnace. Bam. Um, I can just use wood for this. Do I have... Let's get some of these saplings out of the way. Um, copper. I'll just use seven. That ought to work. And uh, with that portable tank, I should be able to carry eight buckets of lava. But you can't just break a portable tank. You have to use um, this thing called a crescent hammer. I think it's all made out of iron. How the hell do you make a crescent hammer again? Oh, it's one tin. Okay, do I have a tin ingot? Silver ingots. Uh, do I have any? I have tin gravel. That'll work. Um, why don't you go in there? Cool. Let's make that portable tank here. Bam. And this is really cheap compared to a bucket. But of course, you do need a bucket to fill it. And like it says here, 8,000 millibuckets, which is, you know, eight buckets. Um,. Let's see. I need that tin ingot, right, Mule? Bam, 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 bam. Crescent hammer. Now all I have to do is, bam, grab a bucket, fill it with lava, f put it in there, and then when I'm done, just shift, right click. Hey. Neat. But I want to look at upgrading this right away because I'm going to be picking up some more liquids in the future. What do I need for this one? That's surrounded by Invar. Now, Invar is a pain in the ass. So I'm not going to be able to get that for quite a while. Because how you get it is you have to mix two iron and one ferrous metal. And I don't have an induction smelter. And that's... Oh, yeah. I forgot. Crescent hammers can also be used to uh, change directions and stuff. It's kind of cool. We'll keep that around for later. But for now, we got some tin cooking. I'm going to go fill up this portable tank. I might actually make another one here. Do I have... Yes, I do. Cool. Then we'll have 16 buckets of lava ready and going. And I can actually just hook that straight up to this tank too, which is kind of neat. So I'll see you guys in a second. I should also mention that one of the nice features of uh, Zan's minimap, or voxel map as it's called now, is you can actually go in here with M and turn on cave mode. And they have a really, really good cave mode system. So, uh... Hopefully, if I'm using this cave mode correctly, that is on level with me. I should be able to just walk right on over to this lava pool here. And get myself some... What the hell happened here? Get myself some lava. So why don't we see... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Don't tell me you... Oh, you spawned up above, I think. Alright, we got some water here. That's not what I want. I'm trying to prove a point, game. You are making me into a liar, and I do not approve. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. We should be right next to... It. Oh, of course, there's freaking redstone here, too. Where's my... Do I not... Oh, there it is. I'm just blind. Let's keep going. It has to be either above or below me. I cannot tell. And it's not the one I wanted. Damn it. All right, well, I'll find a way to get the lava. I'll see you guys in a second up at the top with the buckets and stuff. I want you guys to see something that I find I just found really impressive on my mini map. See that little uh that pool over there, that light blue in the north or in the west there that I'm looking at. Okay, that is ours magical water. It's really, really important to getting neutral, um oh, get the fuck out of here. To getting neutral uh energy or whatever. Look at this. It's one layer deep, two layers deep, three layers deep, four layers deep, 
Five layers deep. Six layers deep. It's fucking ridiculous. That's ours magic of water. All of it. The fuck out of here. That is the coolest creeper on the planet. <laughs> Sup? Hey, is this where the party's at? Because I got a whole pound of Mary, and I can't seem to find Molly. Just kidding. That is an awful reference. We're going to stop right now. Anyway, so I do believe we have this stuff. Yes. And um, I think it would be quite intelligent of me if I took the stack of logs, one of them anyway. I took another ten. Made them into planks. Oh my god. The hell out of here! Dick. And I made them into charcoal, because I'm not finding coal for crap right now. So we're going to take that out. Put you in jail, and you in jail. And with the five coal I do have, we're going to cook the last stack of grout. I did get both of these things full of lava, which is fantastical. But I do need um, fluid ducts. They're not hard to make. They're very easy, actually. And it'll just make it so I don't have to manually put um, put the lava in every time. It's just uh, one lead and two copper. I do believe I just found some lead, actually, which is spectacular. Oh, my God, why? Get the hell out of here. I should probably be smart, huh? That might be smart to do that and just go to bed and stuff and whatnot. All right. Let's go outside and grab the Oh, wait, yeah. Creeper's like, whatever, man. I got places to be. All right, um, let's go ahead and get this moved. But now you can't even tell it's a crafting station. Unless you're really, really smart and realize that it's a small, a small hue difference from a regular one. Hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So what do we need? Lead? Did I not find? Oh, it's tin. Damn. Do not have any lead? Hello? Hey, one lead. Cool. Do I have anything to cook? Do I have a wooden tool I need to get rid of? Hey. Nice. Efficiency. Please cook. Please. Nice. All right, what was it again? Lead and copper. Damn, I need one more copper. You are making a fool out of me, game. The fooliest fool. The fooly cooliest. I forget. I think a sapling only cooks like two thirds of it or something ridiculous. Oh, and another cool feature of uh, n not enough items. Check this out. Bam. Shift click that question mark and it'll auto do it if you have the ingredients in your inventory. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one right there. And we are going to put these on top like so. And the nice thing is when you see how this is blue, that means it's a uh, an input mode. If you put one on top of it, it turns to orange automatically. Automatically. And then you just simply right click it to change that to output as well. And as you see, bam. You just put, what, six buckets of lava into there? Four. It just used up a bunch, I guess. All right, cool. Well, I want to get some stuff cooking right off the bat, like my gold. I'd love to double my gold right away. So we just simply shift-click it. And uh, as you can see, I have nine slots right now, but that will quickly change once I get the next layer going. Let's see, can I... I can't quite finish the next layer, can I? No. Anyway, I will, uh... I will... Whoa. whoa. I don't want to stand in there, because if there's any liquid metal, you can get blood. And, uh, you'll have to clean that out of your system. It's kind of gunky. But blood can be used for stuff, which is cool, I suppose. Alright. Where's this cool-ass creeper at? No, no, why do you have to be in there? 
I want your shades. Yes! Hold on. How do I get my hats? I want hats. Where, where's hats? Um. All. Um. Um. Cosmetic? No. That's probably not it. I don't know. Screw it. Let's get some let's get some of this stuff going on. Because we're going to need a lot of reeds. And I just kind of want them in my life. So how neat is this, right? Liquid gold. I like gold. Now, I want a block of gold because I'm basically doubling my R right here. I just right-click on that faucet. It'll fill up this mold of a block. And in a couple seconds here, we should have a block of gold. Oh. Why, hello. Oh, you're so beautiful. Now, be amazed. I put eight uh, ores in there. I got nine ingots, and there's still seven ingots left. It's awesome. I love it. It's my favorite. We got charcoal going on. Um, that's good. That's good. All right, I'll be back once this is built because I need to get some glass stuff together and it'll be awesome. All right, we're back. I managed to kill a bunch of time breaking grass so I could fill the rest of the spots in my uh, cotton farm. But I made three seared glass so we can see the liquid on the inside as well as the, uh, the lava in here, which is kind of neat. And then we got our second layer. And I'm going to top off this third layer real quick. Um, hello. He hello, senor. There we go. And then I'll put the other one on the other side. And I can make plenty more grout, but for this episode, I am done making grout. I'd like to make this one more layer tall for now, because three layers is a pretty freaking decent size. But off camera... I'm going to be cooking stuff and mining stuff, and if I find anything to show you, we'll see how much time's left on this episode, and I will show you. But until then, meow. I almost forgot about the most important thing. In order to make all the tools, as you can see here, I made a bunch of tool stuff. I made like tough bindings, hammers, large plates, the freaking buster blade, a broad axe, and, a sh and an excavator. But if you look over here, those aren't there. And there's a bunch of other tools. Well, you need an upgraded tool station for that. So we're going to go ahead and take this tool station. I do believe I've got enough of this. So I need four of them. That'll work. And I also need... Is that iron cooked yet? Come on. It's just an ingot. You're making me look so proud of you, boy. Alright, that should be our ninth iron ingot. I put all my iron ore in there, which is how I got it. In order to do this, blah, 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 to do this, we need our old tool station, four seared bricks, and three iron blocks. It's very expensive, but very worth it. And another thing we're going to have to do is, you see all these, these wooden patterns? Well, you can't just kind of cram a metal ingot into there. You got to make a metal pattern to fill with the kind of metal you want so we're gonna end up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take every single one of these well the ones I want anyway I probably won't want this one this one this one for quite a while but all of these guys here I'm gonna want to make something like a stone one for instance or cobblestone whatever and then I'll put the cobblestone one in there and it'll kind of form a mold around it pop the cobblestone one out and bam I got a mold but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the tool station because I want a hammer. So what we do is we take the tool station, three blocks of iron, that and that. Oh, don't tell me it's the other way around. Oh, I bet it is too. All right, you stay there. Another thing I like about crafting stations, you can leave stuff in them. Observeth. As I leave 99% of this in there. I should have known it was the other way around too. That would have been too convenient for me to plan it all out like that. Alright. One more block of iron, and right there. 
Bam, Tool Forge. This is the last upgrade we'll need to be doing for, well, ever, except for making this taller, and that's about it. Now you see, we've got access to the battle axe, the hammer. I want a hammer, which is two plates, a broad axe head, and a tough tool rod. Now, to give you an example of how expensive this is, this costs eight ingots. So does this, so does this, and this costs three. So let's say you get something really expensive like cobalt ore. In order to make a full cobalt hammer, you need 20, what is that, 8, 16, 24, 27 ingots, which is like 14 ores. Actually, I don't know if cobalt doubles. I'm not sure. It should. But yeah, so we got the tool forge. That's kind of awesome. I'm going to make myself all of these things here, and I uh, don't know if we've got enough gold. No, we got seven in that one block. You need gold to make them, which kind of sucks. I don't remember if it's two gold or one. But I'll at least show you the process, and I'll get the uh, rest done in between episodes. Oh, God, sleep before they get here. Hey, I got an iron ingot from that guy. Nice. Uh-oh, we got an evil zombie coming our way. These guys are no good. No good. Hey, I got a brain. Awesome. Ah, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. God damn, I hate those things. Alright, why did you spawn on the weirdo? Um. I really don't like those guys are out there. This is kind of frustrating. You guys notice I die a lot more in Feed the Beast? Because I sure have. I've noticed hard. Alright. Let's just organize the rest of that. What are you doing? Yeah, you can stay dead, buddy. Nobody likes you. Alright, what the hell was I doing now? Changing it today. Oh, yeah. Showing you the process of how that stuff's made. Well, we got gold. We got liquid gold in there, which is perfect. So let's go ahead and make, well, why don't we make all of these? Just so I can get a hammer going. And per, I don't particularly need it. I'm actually going to make a stone hammer for now, if I can. Oh, that's perfect. Part builder, let's just put a stack in there. I want two of those. Put that back. I want one of those. Oh, oops. Put that back. I want one rod. There we go. And I'll take that out. Cool. Now in order to make a mold, put that in there. Hit the faucet. It should take two ingots. That should get onto five. Yep. And then we have a gold mold. And that is how we make smelting stuff. So what I'm going to do, actually... I already have logs, but whatever. We're going to make a nice little cast chest. Not there. That will make my eye twitch for eternity. Put that there. Now, before I make this hammer, I'm going to finish up these last two pieces. And then I should be able to make a hammer. And I really want a hammer, because I want to show you guys what they do before we end the episode off, which is coming up here. So we go here. Hammer. I do that. I do that. Put that there. And we have a hammer. Now, this isn't your ordinary hammer that you use with a chisel like on Terra Firma Craft. No, no, no. This is Zack Munster's wet dream right here. Okay. You take this guy, you go down into your mine, and you go hard in the paint. Because this thing has a durability, and how I found durability works out is like, this has 64, and cobblestone has like a durability of something, and a multiplier of something, but it ends up that it's just the multiplier times the durability times the amount of material, so there's two stone in this. You know, one, one and a half, and one and a half. Well, there's 27 stone in here. So you take the durability of this, multiply it by like 13, and you got the durability. Boring math, I know. Let me get a nice clean wall for you guys to show you how amazing this is. 
and it looks like we're not going to. So let's use this right here. Three by three, not a problem. Bam. Do you understand now why hammers are my favorite thing ever? And why I wanted to get one right now? Yeah. I'm going to be making one out of a good material as soon as possible. But I need to find diamonds. Now what I'm going to do off camera is do a lot of branch mining. I'm going to try and get some gold for those um, casts. I'm going to try and get myself an excavator out of stone. Just, it's basically the same thing as a hammer but with dirt and gravel and all that. And probably going to meet you guys in the next episode. Getting some more materials. We're going to continue with Tinker's Construct for at least another episode. See if I can't get myself um, some obsidian. And maybe we'll get into like the, the upgrades. Because I almost have enough redstone to upgrade something. But that is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have been your host, Zach Monster. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.